Picture this. Tiny organisms frozen in Arctic ice for thousands or even tens of thousands of years gradually waking up as Earth warms. Scientists are alarmed. Climate change is thawing permafrost in glaciers, releasing dormant bacteria, viruses, and fungi into ecosystems that may have never seen them before. It preserves biological material in a dark, oxygen-free environment where decomposition halts. In the Himalayas, ice cores yielded over 1,700 previously unknown viral species, ranging in age up to 48,500 years. Every year, Trillions to quadrillions of microbes get released from melting layer cement estimates. Suggest up to four sextillion microorganisms freed annually. These findings demonstrate that ancient microbes can survive on, potentially reanimate when exposed to thawing conditions. Over 2,500 reindeer were infected. This incident underlines the tangible risk of pathogens preserved in ice re-emerging into contact with living hosts. This isn't science fiction, this is happening now. Permafrost, the permanently frozen soil in Siberia, Alaska, Canada, and Tibetics like nature's ultra-deep freezer. In recent years, researchers revived Mali virus, Sibiricum, and Pithovirus from approximately 30,000-year-old permafrost. These giant viruses still infect amoebae even today. Models suggest that a mere 1% release of dormant pathogens might influence biodiversity. Infection rates in wildlife or plant health. As Arctic wildlife shifts north with climate change, novel interactions and spillover events become more likely. Many ancient bacteria show some level of resistance to antibiotics like tetracycline and streptomycin. But the truth is global. Thawing permafrost also releases massive stores of methane and C, fueling climate feedback loops that accelerate warming. And human encroachment shipping, mining, tourism magnifies contact with newly released microbes raising the possibility of spillover events bridging all corners of the world. The unknowns are many. Viability, pathogenicity, human immunity. The scientists urge one clear takeaway. Uncertainty demands caution. They warn of the possibility that immune systems today have never encountered these microbes and might not be able to respond. Scientists, and let me know in the comments, would you live in or near thawing permafrost? if it meant learning about Earth's hidden microbial history or hidden dangers. Others counter that most dangerous pathogens like influenza or smallpox likely wouldn't survive millennia frozen. Yet, uncertainty remains, and precaution is warranted. Dormant microbes are waking. While a full-blown pandemic is not imminent, dismissing the risk outright would be short-sighted. We need better surveillance, more biosecurity, and global awareness. The Arctic is heating up two to four times faster than the global average, causing massive melting of ice and permafrost. But scientists warn, pox virus or herpes virus related traces have been identified in permafrost and, while not yet shown to be viable, they hint at potential risk. Once frozen in dark isolation, these microbes suddenly re-enter environments and biological cycles they haven't touched in millennia. The clearest case so far occurred in 2016 in Siberia, a decades-old reindeer carcass containing anthrax spores thawed, causing an outbreak that infected local herders and killed at least one child. So far, the revived microbes infect mostly amoeba, not humans. Another concern is horizontal gene transfer. Ancient bacteria might carry antibiotic resistance genes and pass them to modern pathogens, exacerbating the antibiotic crisis today. Wikipedia, even if humans aren't directly impacted, revived pathogens could disrupt ecosystems. Researchers like geneticist Jean Michel Claveris, the need to treat ancient pathogens as potentially dangerous. Proposed actions include real time Arctic monitoring, strict biosafety and fieldwork, and industrial regulations to minimize disturbances in permafrost regions. You might think this feels like a niche risk limited to remote tundra populations. Bulletin of the Atomic, so how worried should we be? The likelihood of a catastrophic pandemic from revived ancient microbes appears low but not negligible. Ancient ice is thawing. This topic fascinated you? Hit like and subscribe.